On this week's travels, we stay at Shallow Inlet and explore Wilson's Prom in Victoria. We have a blast riding the sand dunes at the Big Drift and explore lots of beaches in the area. The kids even have a turn catching yabby. You know you're an Australian outback when the flies are just landing on you every 10 seconds. So this one's probably the most off-grid we've done. We're really in the bush. The man said beware of snakes. There's also wombats and echidnas so there's heaps of wildlife. Wait, wombats? Yeah, wombats. So we're at this shallow inlet caravan park and it's only $20 a night but you just got to bring your own water and off-grid so no power we're going back to basics but look at this view no he said it's low tide so okay come on so the water must come way up to here in high tide he said low tide's best for fishing. Okay, Corey wants to get his fishing rod. Are you guys crabbing, are you? Because there's so many crab holes, aren't there, Lila? Have you found any yet? <laughs> Dad, I'm the catching seaweed. Oh my god, the tide's coming so fast. Theo, can you get my crocs? And why did you put mud on my leg? Dad, your bucket's blowing away. Corey also did the oil change on the car today because it had been 5,000 k. We've been like asking every mechanic on the way here if they can do an oil change and they all said they've been booked out for months so luckily our neighbour was a mechanic and he had all the tools. He's also on his lap so he helped Corey do it. And so today we're going to go see the big drift sand dunes. So Lala we were over here, that's our camp in the shallow inlet. And now we have come to the Stockyards campground and we're going to go for a 2k walk to see the big sand dunes. It's going to be like the movie June. And we all the way over here and we're going to walk all the way to here. Yes. Mum, we're going. We're going. In 40 minutes. Lila thinks she can carry the board the whole way. <laughs> Come on, Lala. Theo and Eden got new walking shoes. That's the pack horse. There's the pack horse. What's the pack horse? This is a good practice for when we're in WA and we're taking the kids on hikes. We'll see if they can cope with 2Ks. Oh, it's cold sand. Oh my gosh, Theo, can you see? You've been playing in the sand. <laughs> so we know for next time. We can bring our e-bikes in here because it's just like a grass paddock. vehicle size a track. Paddock. Yeah, paddock, eh? Paddock. So next time we're going to bring our bikes because the kids are already whinging. <laughs> I have no words. A better bike. Any complaints from you, Miss? Uh, <laughs> maybe just it's hot. Not yet, no. We can just see the tip of it. Yeah, we got to climb up there first. All the way to Can the you top. guys see the people on the, up the top there? It's going to be so steep sliding down. <laughs> yeah. The it's lady so said, prepare yourself. Why? It must be hard work. Oh my God. 
Okay, we've reached the soft sand. We're making the climb. Ow, it's so hard again. <laughs> you can do it, Theo. Whoa, they got it, though. Maybe they could just slide down this side. <laughs> We are not going down there. Ready, Theo? We'll push him. Ready? <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I want to do it again. We're just trying to find a hill that's not too steep or too flat. Okay, guys, I think we've found the right steepness hill. Step back, Lila. So I'm going to try and go through this. Okay, wait. Get in position! <laughs> oh! Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, God. Mum's getting a good workout. Four times is it now? Three times. Oh god, it's hard. Oh god, it's hard to get up. <laughs> Good work. Are we in this 
Sahara or are we just in Victoria? It looks like we're in the desert. So I highly recommend this place. The kids said it was worth the walk but definitely bring a boogie board so you can have fun riding the dunes. The guys next to us said the toboggan didn't work as good so make sure it's a boogie board. Now for the big walk home. So we were just talking to some other people who were walking behind us and they said they didn't book a campground and every campground in Wilson's Promontory is booked out so they had to just camp on the side of the road. So still have to book like a month in advance because everywhere's just so busy and people are saying even WA you need to book six months in advance which is crazy because you don't even know where you're going to be. So I think we'll be doing a lot of sleeping on the side of the road there. the southernmost tip of the mainland Australia. So across from it, you can see Tasmania. So we told the kids that it's Tasmania, that rock. But it's not really bad. <laughs> really shallow. <laughs> so we managed to find a barbecue. So we're going to have a saucy. Two for, Two for us. Two for me! Oh, you can't even finish one, Theo. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, we forgot the tongs, so we're just going to have to use our fingers. And we forgot a knife. Yeah, <laughs> we forgot all our utensils. Okay, bye. It's on. Saucy's on the barbie. It's not our is it yummy, Lila? Yummy! Even Theo's eating a saucy. So that's where we were today. Mom, come over here! Hang on, I'm just having a look. This is all there is to do. So those are short walks. Look at that swamp wallaby. Watch Mom, for us. Mom, that you can touch over here. Hey, we'll come. And then we were just at Whiskey Beach. That's such a nice photo, nice sunset. And we, I want to go to Squeaky Beach too. Live footage of them. And then there's all these other walks. Uh, so can we, and it's a little bit dark. Can we go hunting? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit dark. Can we go hunting for bats? For bats? Mm -hmm. Or do you mean I wombats? <laughs> so it's night time, or nearly night time, and we're going on a mission to find a wombat. But they said there's also a brown snake in this area, so we've got to be careful. Shh. Shh, shh. Careful, 
Because that's where the snake key set is. Is that his hole? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I reckon he's still asleep. Look at the sunset, guys. I'll just show you. Hang on. We didn't find any tonight, did we? Can we look next night? We might be able to look tomorrow night. You're both looking very tired because we did lots of walking today. What are my eyes? Are they red? Yeah. <laughs> so, time to get into bed. I got my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, look at this. <laughs> Lali, you both need to wash oh, your faces. Wait, what? <laughs> your mouth! I don't want to eat your mouth. Okay, that's enough. You guys are too close. Okay, go to bed now. <laughs> Na night. We didn't find the wombat, but we found his wombat hole. Okay? So we know where he lives. So we've just met an old couple who are retired, who are travelling as well. They're next to us. Um, they're going to show us how to catch the yabbies in the creek. So and maybe Corey can get some fishing tips. The cons of this place is there's so many flies that you can't even sit outside because they just land all over you. <laughs> yeah, that first day was really bad. They nearly went in my nose. Yeah, you have to just keep moving. That's a tiny, oh, it's too it's tiny, tiny. But, it is but it is one. Don't right. touch it, it can bite you, Theo. It's tiny. Yeah, he's too tiny. You pull it, go. He has to grow. So you push yeah. and just a little bit. Push and then pull up at the same time and then you just spray it out. There's one. Is there more in the same hole? Oh, yeah, yes, same hole. You go in point deeper, then push that. Oh, oh, there's one! one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting rid of his old coat and growing a new coat. Very pinky. Yeah. Oh, well, Grab it from the back. From the tail. So from the tail. From the that's tail. It. See how yeah. it's got pincers yeah, yeah. at the front? Grab it at the tail. From the tail. Yeah, that's no, it. That's it. Good. Yes. You need a little bit more water. Hold your bucket from here, from the from the handle here, and I'll put a little bit more water oh, on the front. Gross. Because you'll see fresh. Easy. I think I just got snagged. Hello, Mr. Theo. Are you using the yebbies as bait? Yep. That you caught. Oh, you're so cute. We'll just catch seaweed knowing us, yep. Oh, I can catch seaweed. 
<laughs> Not for you, is it? Maybe. Hold on. You tell me about that one, Theo. He's taking his shell off because he needs a bigger one. Because he's big now. Oh, good boy. This is cool, call. isn't it? We spent our morning catching yabbies. Uh huh. And now we're off to Squeaky Beach. Because the sand is squeaky. But every beach, the sand is squeaky. Not every beach, only if it's really fine sand. So let's go check it out. Show me your squeaky. building So I kept going through the dodgy path and I made it to the other side. <laughs> They're just over here. And there's another hidden beach on the other side. We're on our mission today. What are we trying to find? Wombats. Wombats, and we might even find a snake. So we've come at six o'clock, so nearly sunset, because that's when they come out, isn't it? So we have to be careful. And we might find a kangaroo. Yeah, and the other couple said they found an ostrich. It's that's such tiny wombat might be in there. So we found more wombat poo, but no wombats. But Theo's not very quiet. He says it's like a 45 minute bush walk. And you see lots of animals. What's down there, Theo? Oh, 
goes that way to they. They again. Shh, we come to see the kangaroos. Wait, did you get that? I don't know. I'll have to check. Oh, another one! Where? There! Oh. I need a boy. Damn! Theo, you need to be more quiet if you're going to find some animals, okay? Don't hurt the ants, you're hurting him. Uh, it's scary. Yeah, let's go. Come on. We've asked him to be quiet this whole time. Four-year-olds don't know what quiet is. They need to find other ants. Whisper. Whisper. Where are we? 